Hi, welcome to this video. We are only f hours away before launching the 6.2 version of Arch Merch and Arch Merged. What I always do, even after a clean install, which I always recommend any operating system, Windows, Mac or Linux, put everything in the cloud, put everything on extra hard disk and hard drive, and then you have your backups. This is 6.2. And after even uh, people will tell uh, it's loaded, and it is, because I don't want to have uh, time, I don't waste time installing all these applications that at some point in time I will need, not always, but some point in time, you know, once in a month, but it's there. It's available, it's just a click away. We do have hard disks that are plenty uh, big enough to have all these uh, applications on there. So everything is set out of the box. I always joke, you set your wallpaper, you set your icon theme, you set your theme, maybe a nice cursor, that's it. So that's the feeling I wanna have when I install Arch Merge. Now, even when I go ahead and install that, even then I will always go and get my github.com. My name is Eric Dubois, good morning. And on that GitHub, you'll see uh, 91 repositories, but it's this one that I need, Arch Merge Nemesis. And it's clearly to see that I was on holiday here. <laughs> Funny. So Arch Merge Nemesis. Um, here we have um, the possibility to dismiss this. That's one thing. And then you click here. That's the best thing to do. And then I can learn you a little application called Git. Um, maybe we should do it in some fashionable order. What I mean with that, make sure that all the data stays together. So you have a folder to back up to your external drive. So I make a folder here called data. And in here, we open a terminal and we say git clone, clone with an E, control shift V. So now we have copy pasted everything that was on there. To our own system we can close this one and like i said even after clean clean install i'll um, do these things well because uh, i don't want to bother you with the installation of spotify if you don't pay for spotify you don't want it so if, if it's on the iso you'll get it anyway so no some of the things are not on there this for instance is very interesting the conkeys work with fonts and fonts are copyright protected so I'm, I'm not including them on the ISO but you can download them yourself and I've downloaded them and they're on this github so with this little command here now the fonts are in my system in the dot fonts folder and they will work any conkey out there on the system on arch merch of course that conkey will work and have a nice beautiful font that's done 200 <coughs> is extra software that I need, that I want, that I need. So, question of perspective, but Atom, for instance, is something I really want because of my, well, design exercises or of, uh, for the Conkeys or for Bash RC and stuff like that. It's uh, nice to have Atom around. 300 will install even more AOR packages. So, if we just a quick look, it's not much. Atom, GNOME screenshot and screen fetch. Atom for scripting, GNOME screen fetch because it can make screenshots in GPG for my website. And screen fetch is another way to show the NeoFetch, the information of your system. Here is installing a little bit more. Brackets is um, also thing like Atom, but more HTML, CSS thing, PHP. These are my conkeys from the GitHub, Conkey Aureola. Dropbox, I need Dropbox, I need my radio from time to time. If I don't want to listen to Spotify, just take the radio. InSync is the Google Drive Sync system, so these are my backup systems, Dropbox, InSync. Radio Tray, you guessed it, it's radio. Sardi Extra Icons, Sardi uh, comes with I think uh, 20 icons or so. Uh, collections but the Sadi extra icons if you install those as well you have 105 yes you heard me correctly 105 choices because Sadi has scripts and you can choose 16 million 
colors or to make the, the coloring of your Sardi icons. So yes, we have made some variations of Sardi. You can check that out on eric2.pe. The modularity and the flexibility of Sardi. Those are the articles you need to look for. Sky for Linux, time to time, I have to call some people. Spotify, you know, music. The Mac fonts, it's um, another font. Uh, Lucida, you know, if you want to have a similar Mac look, then you can get uh, the fonts as well. And then VirtualBox, I need to install from time to time uh, different distros to check on the Sardi icons and the Surfing icons if they are still okay, if I need to make more icons for other distros not just for Arch Merch. And then we're gonna fix, if everything is installed, you'll have new software. New software means you need to run sudo hardcode fixer because some of these applications will have an icon that's hard coded and then that's the fix. I want ZSH installed, not only that, but also the coloring themes are in there. Oh my, ZSH. And applying or not is uh, whenever I feel like it. So you still have to do, to say, okay, change my bash to ZS, ZSH, it's not standard, you have to type it, because it needs your login name. 900, if you have a microcode error when you start up, uh, for the guys who have Intel, just run this once and that's that. He's still doing his compression, he's making Dropbox now, so I guess we'll better pause the tutorial. Because next up is then go into the personal one. Uh, maybe run that first and then the personal one. Well, the script is, is done. Um, you follow up the first time you run these scripts, you follow it up because, for instance, VirtualBox has been installed, you got to reboot. There are some messages in between. Um, this one as well. If you want to have ZSH, you need to, you need to type in sudo change your shell Eric so you use a name minus s slash bin slash zsh and then again you need to log off or reboot and then you see the change alt t to delete my wallpaper in the back so we have now uh, done that one if we don't know anymore just press arrow up and you see that's the last thing you did so arrow down again and there is a little command for that for you guys to follow my endeavors here where is little icon let's see so preferences everything is set right okay so like i said um control alt t and all these things you see now when i press that's the screen key this is the one you need if only if and if you don't have any issues and you run it then nothing happens i suppose it's just the intel u code that's gonna be reinstalled because it is already installed but even so we need to reinstall it and then do the update grub thing and then hopla no messages anymore so that's the fix then we go into this one let's um yeah i3 let's go into personal right mouse click create folder oops not create folder open terminal here put it in the side here that's the advantage of being in xfce if we're in open box you press super a key and then one of the numbers on the numeric keypad and then 600 install the personal settings folder version 2 created folders all it does is check if there is a folder then it does nothing but if there is no dot icons he'll make dot icons so if we Download icons from somewhere on the, the, the net, anywhere. You put them in the icons, the dot icons in your own home folder. The same goes for the themes and so on. So this is your place to test things out, your home folder. Next up is the bookmarks. Um, yep, like so. And that's uh, for open box things that are specific for open box if it's not correct so it doesn't do anything it doesn't really do anything um, if it's not there um, it will be created if it is there it just skips it so no harm done really and a directory doesn't take any place 605 install the personal settings manager bookmark manager this thing here i don't want to set it all the time 
again and again and again. So I just do this. And here I have my divisions. I want to have the downloads documents, all my data, the .config folder, the .conky folder in the .config, the open box in the .config, the variety in the .config, the i3 in the .config, then the .icons, the user share icons, the my own themes, the themes on user share, my applications, the local folder, the opt where all the specific things are installed. That's not uh, well, not in the standard uh, place to install, but here, and then the temp folder. So keeping track of what's going to be installed, your Yahoo temp folder. Um, I wanted to say something. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to add something here. We need to add scalp file system etc scroll down scroll up yeah a little bit bigger a little bit smaller um scale 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 yeah we actually we can type scale is far more easier and then you can drag it the question is it's an etc file mm, what's the logic in having this i think it's best here so scale so in this thing there is nothing eric well just press ctrl h everything is in there your config folders, your local folders, your everything is in there. So when we update things and you get an update in from the i3, this is going to be updated. If you're going to update uh, open box uh, folders and files, it's going to be this one or that one. So yeah, we do need those things. Okay, scale is there. Um, if you want to keep this for the future, let's say so Eric has his data and in the data is arch merge nemesis and in there is a personal file and in there is settings and in there are the bookmarks and in there are the bookmarks we have here scale we put it here I think so that one is actually now changed to scale um, the first one is where it is so it's CTC scale and the last one can be just anything like chair or sun or anything but better type cell scale so I still know so next time when I install it I'll have my bookmark as well so that's why I love the scripts you change things you put it there and there's gonna be a next installation because you screwed it up you're running Linux and okay problems no. No issue, just put uh, everything on your in your script and next time you just run the script and you have saved a lot of time and frustration. So 605 was the last one. 615, personal screenshots to GPG. So that's the, probably the thing that you need to decide, do I want that or not? So when I run GNOME screenshots, I want it to be um, a GPG rather than a PNG because of the megabytes uh, for the website. Some personal settings for GIMP, things I usually use, sublime text settings, colors, text, and so on. Variety settings, I have my own variety settings. Don't think there are, there's a lot of difference now these days, but anyway, there it is. The settings for termite, I think they're the same as well. That's the advantages of making a distro. And then at near settings, I guess they're the same too. And that's something you need to run first. So Firefox, run Firefox first. I'm not sure if I did, so I'm gonna run Firefox. Opened. Yep, I think I ran it. <laughs> Clearly. So 700 done now all the dark themes the input boxes are readable it's on the article on archmerch.com don't do this these guys anymore don't think they're necessary so um, i'm gonna evaluate and next time you go to the aor here the sorry not the aor the arch merch nemesis github you probably see that they're gone uh, as i think that has been solved by the project engineers all right, um, that's it for me. So we have now a system that's personalized. So what I do is always get these things from the net. What is still there is a lot of things I have not installed. So I'll install my printer afterwards as well. 
it's not in the scripting. There is Etcher, which is an alternative to Minstick. PDF readers, France is a social media tool. Uh, Packly is also interesting for um, uh, pack man management, package management in general. Uh, cleaning everything out uh, from the packages. Slack, you know, probably Slack. Some kind of uh, system to talk to each other. Telegram is probably also in the same category. Social media applications. And uh, maybe some of you know Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. We have it here too. And wire to talk to each other. Another thing, uh, LibreOffice is one thing, but WPS Office is also very interesting. Take a look at it, it's quite beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's uh, all a choice in Linux. You choose whatever you want. Here is something for about Twitter. And if you install the Sadi X and want to get rid of it, then that's the one you need. We have awesome font, I think, already installed on our system. And um, brackets, there's a bin version and there's a normal version. And that's it basically. Now it's up to you to enjoy the system. Cheers.